Hi there. Welcome to installing Percona Monitoring and Measurement, better known as PMM. We're going to install the server and a database and show you how to get PMM up and running so you can work with it. Our base operating system is Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. My name is Dave Stokes. I'm a technology evangelist for Percona. And I want to warn you that if you're trying to monitor your databases, uh, you need to be able to measure stuff. And as Lord Kelvin said, by the way, he's a pretty cool guy. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Now, great thing about PMM is it gives you lots of graph performance data. Now, your brain is programmed to see visual information, uh, seeing the output from a series of select statements to monitor things like uh, how uh, a database size grows over time doesn't have the visual impact of a graph. And seeing a graph uh, gives you faster comprehension, which gives you the ability to make changes faster. And with a graph, uh, you uh, discover insights, you see trends, and plus with PMM, you get the possibility to actually go out there and dig deeper, which can help you spot problems. Now, if you don't know what Recono Monitoring Management or PMM is, uh, first, it is free. It's open source. It's a monitoring tool for the MySQL, Postgres SQL, Mongo databases. It also works with Proxy SQL. Also monitors the underlying servers that are there. Now, PMLM helps you prefer, improve the performance of your databases because you see what's going on. It will also simplify your management. You'll see when things are getting out of kilter, you can run backups. And by the way, it really helps you tighten up your security. And you're going to see that it's very efficient, it is very quick to set up, and easy to use. Well, how quick is it to set up? Well, you'll see that it basically takes seven steps. Now, if you're going to follow along with this video and you're using it on your own computer, uh, please hit pause between the steps uh, to keep from uh, panicking and having to rewind. Uh, anytime I, I make a statement that you want to type in your computer, just hit the pause button and come back to me later. By the way, uh, before we get going, you want to bookmark these two pages. Uh, the second one there is the quick start where I looked at the commands from. By the way, the Recona documentation is excellent and will uh, show you exactly what needs to get done. The first thing. If we're going to install on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, we need a copy of 20.04 LTS. I've done fresh installs on laptops and on virtual machines. Uh, works the same way, uh, however you want to do this. I'm figuring you're going to experiment with this before you actually try to run this in production. So install a fresh copy and run Update Manager. Make sure you have the latest and greatest fixes out there. And then you're ready to go. Now, the one thing that 20.04 doesn't have is curl. So you're going to have to run apt to install curl, and you'll see the output here. Uh, by the way, uh, rather than keep you looking at fuzzy images of screens of running code, uh, I'm just going to show you the command up there at the top in bold and show you the output below. Your output should look something like this. Now, once we have curl installed, we're going to run the easy install script. Now, it's going to go out there and install Docker if you don't already have Docker on your system. Uh, if you're already running PMM, uh, you got an early experiment. Uh, it will back up the containers that are out there. And also, it'll pull the latest and greatest uh, Docker image for you of PMM. So with curl, we'll go out to percona.com and we'll get PMM and run that install script. And it actually will uh, go out there and fetch a whole bunch of different stuff for you. And the page will scroll down. And on the end of the page, there's some information I want to point out to you. Uh, the first of which is the addresses. Uh, these are going to be important when you go to access PMM via your browser. Uh, at the top, you'll see that it's uh, the local host 127.001. Also notice that it tells you that some browsers like Chrome do not like the default SSL certificate. You can add your own. Uh, but if you're just testing this and you are fairly certain that you're in a safe environment, you can bypass the warning and take the this is unsafe route to there. Also notice that the default username and password for the PMM uh, main screen is admin admin. 
So now we need to get the Percona apt repo that we're going to need to install PMM and any Percona branches of, the, library, of uh, the databases that you want. And we install that uh, Debian package to install the repo. Notice here that it warns you how to set up MySQL and we'll follow that later. So once we've installed the new repo, we have to run apt get update. Uh, yours should look somewhat similar to this, depending where your computer sits in the world or where it thinks it sits. And once we have the repo ready, we can use it to install the PMM2 client. Once we have the client out there, we need to configure everything. And we're going to go out there and notice that we're telling the server is uh, using our username and password at the local host in this case. And once we have that done, we can browse to the local host and take a look at the screen. Now, you're going to see the screen where it has the login. And if you're like me, you're going to go, what were those username and password again? Well, once we're there and we log in, you're going to see the opening screen. Now, notice over here on the right-hand side, we have monitor nodes and monitor databases. Well, there's a database underneath PMM. And we have one monitor node and one monitor database. You'll see when we get MySQL installed just a little bit that those numbers will increment. So oh, let's add a database. Now, if you want to, you can install uh, whatever database you want from our, our trio that we have. Uh, you can use the Percona distributions, which is what I recommend. And if you want the full details for installing MySQL 8.0, please go to this URL. What we do is we run sudo percona release setup ps80. So we're going to get MySQL 8.0. Then we actually run the install. In this case, we're going to install the Percona server and the Percona MySQL shell. We need the shell to access the database to uh, make a little bit of changes. Now we're going to monitor MySQL. So first thing we have to do is allow PMM to have access to the information that MySQL keeps internally. So we have to use MySQL shell to log into our machine. Hopefully you remember the password from the setup of your MySQL database. We need to get from the default mode into SQL mode. We have to create a user called PMM. And that person needs some privileges. Once we have that up, exit out of MySQL. And we're going to go out there and we're going to add PMM. We're going to use PMM to add the MySQL. We're going to give it our username and passwords that we just set up on the previous screen. And for MySQL, we have to say that we're pulling that data from the performance schema. By the way, if you're doing this with Postgres or Mongo, it's equally simple. Uh, you just add the name of the database that you want to use. Now we come back to our main screen. Now we're monitoring two different nodes. And please go ahead and work your way through the various screens. Look at the information. Uh, look at the uh, what's actually going on with your server. You're actually having insight what's going on there. I'll have a further video in the future that will talk about how to dive through and to assess the house, the health of your system. But there's a whole bunch of interesting information out there. You get graphs, you get pretty pictures, uh, you get all sorts of information. You can dig into the, what the queries are doing. And by the way, if you want a copy of what the commands I typed to install PMM, please see my GitHub account. I have a script out there. And I want to thank you for watching. You just saw how to install Percona Management and measure, Measurement Server, uh, quickly installed on 2.04 LTS Ubuntu. Uh, more presentations coming quickly. Uh, if you have any feedback, requests, or suggestions for other uh, videos, please email me. And I want to thank you. And remember, Percona is a leading provider of unbiased open source database solutions that allow organizations to easily, securely, and affordably maintain database agility, minimize risk, and stay competitive. Thank you very much.